What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here, coming at you with my T-Mobile Revel 5G review. So let's get started. So this is the T-Mobile Revel 5G. Now, as the name implies, this phone is exclusive to T-Mobile, but it is also being offered by their prepaid subsidiary, Metro by T-Mobile. Now, this particular variant of the phone is from Metro, but it's gonna be exactly the same as the regular T-Mobile model. Now, this device is pretty noteworthy because it does feature 5G support, but also comes in at a price tag of $399. Now, most likely, a lot of people out there won't even be paying $399 for it, as there always are various carrier deals being offered. So I'm definitely very curious for the people that are watching this video, whether you've already bought the phone or you are gonna be buying it in the future, what are the deals being offered right now? Is this phone being offered for a buy one, get one, for example, or is it half off? I'm definitely curious to know. Point is, is that this probably is gonna be one of the most affordable ways to get a phone that does support 5G. Now, whether or not you find a need for 5G at this point really depends on you and the 5G infrastructure in your area. But even if you're not planning on using 5G with this phone, the device still does offer a lot for the price tag. So I know for me personally, where I live, there's not much 5G. G. So really the fact that this phone is 5G doesn't mean much to me at all. But the good news though is that again, using this phone on 4G LTE will still give you a very good experience and this device does have a lot to offer. Now with the phone, we're getting a 6.53 inch display. Now the display is not AMOLED unfortunately, but you can see though that the colors are really good. It's very bright as well. It is IPS LCD, which is why we do have a little bit of a thicker bottom bezel, and the resolution is 1080p. Now with this phone, we're getting a PPI of 395, and we're getting a 19 and a half by nine aspect ratio. Now the design of this phone does feature a hole punch in the upper left corner for the front facing camera. The front facing camera is 16 megapixels, and stay tuned to later on in the video as I'll show you photo and video samples from the phone. Now with this device, we are getting 128 gigabytes of internal storage, and we're also getting micro SD card expansion. So definitely very nice that we are getting 128 gigs internally. As for most people out there, that should be plenty. Now there's no wireless charging with this phone, unfortunately. One cool feature though that we do have is that the power button does glow for both notifications and when the phone's plugged in. This device does feature a fingerprint sensor on the back, which is decently fast. So it certainly does get the job done. Let's try that out one more time. That's actually very fast, so I'm definitely satisfied with it. We also get face unlock with this phone too, which is another awesome way to access the phone. Now on the back side of the device, we do have a squared off camera module with a triple camera setup. So there's a 48 megapixel main camera, an eight megapixel ultra wide angle camera, and a five megapixel macro camera. Now getting into the camera app here, we do have quite a few different features. Of course, we have the full settings as well. You can make different adjustments such as the photo size, for example. There is a special high pixel mode that does fully take advantage of the 48 megapixel main camera, but it does come at the expense of having the actual photo files be much larger. Then you can go over to the video mode and you can adjust this so that you can take video at up to 4K at 30 frames per second. There's also EIS, which is electronic image stabilization, and you do have the ability to turn that on or off. Then taking a look at the other options, there's a more tab here where we do have access to features such as super macro, high pixel, light trace, stop motion, slow-mo, and pano. We get portrait mode with both the front and rear cameras too with this device, which is great. You can see right here, we have a nice blurred out background behind me. And there's also a pro mode as well that gives you even deeper customization. But here's how things look through the main camera. Again, you can flip around to the front camera if you want to. Definitely nice and crispy and good looking through this front facing camera. Again, I'll show you some photo and video samples later on in this video. You can then switch over to the ultra wide angle camera to fit a lot more content into the frame. Definitely glad we have that feature as well. And then again, going over to the more tab, we do have that super macro mode which does allow you to get very close up and have everything be nice and focused. Now with the T-Mobile Revel 5G, we do have six gigabytes of RAM and the Qualcomm Snapdragon 765. Now there is a difference between the 765, which this phone has, and the 765G, which is the processor that comes with the Google Pixel 5. So the 765 is a little bit on the weaker side compared to the 765G. However, I did run a benchmark test with this device using Geekbench 5, which you can also install on your own personal phone to compare. But you can see here, I did get a single core score of 624 and a multi-core of 1944. 
So again, these numbers don't really mean anything to anybody unless you are actually comparing this device to another device. So definitely give this a try on your current phone and then compare your scores to these scores. And then I will be getting the Pixel 5 pretty soon, hopefully. And when I get that phone, I'll compare those scores to these scores as well. But again, I'd expect the 765 to be a little bit less powerful than the 765G. But then again, based on my experience of using this phone, it still is very nice and fast. I would say for the majority of people out there, this device certainly will get the job done. You're gonna have a very smooth experience, whether it's browsing the web, playing games, and you can even do some light video editing on this phone as well. Now with the Revel 5G, we do have a 4,500 milliamp hour internal battery. Now with that battery, you are gonna be getting up to 32 hours of talk time. But another cool thing about it too, is that it does support reverse charging. Now you do have to get your own OTG cable to use for the reverse charging feature, but essentially, you plug one end of the cable into this phone, plug the other end into another phone, and then you can use the battery in this phone to charge another device. So that's pretty awesome as well. So maybe you're somewhere with a friend and your friend's phone is about to run out of battery, but your Revel 5G is completely full of battery, then you can share a little bit of that battery with your friend. Now the software on here is Android 10. It does have some modifications and some extra features, but for the most part, it is a pretty stock experience here. Now I do have a dedicated tips and tricks video about the Revel 5G here on the channel. So definitely make sure to take a look at that video to learn even more about all the cool things that you can do here with the phone. Now this device does feature your NFC as well, which is pretty awesome. So if you do like to use NFC for mobile payments or really anything else, then it is here for you. But now that we've gone over the specifications and major features of the phone, let's now take a closer look at the hardware. Now I already talked quite a bit about the front panel here. Again, we do have a hole punch for the front facing camera situated off to the upper left. And then at the bottom, we do have a little bit of a thicker bottom bezel. Now, unfortunately, if you're wondering why the bezel in the bottom is a little bit thicker, that is due to this phone having an LCD display. Unfortunately, with LCD technology, you can only make the bezels so small. Now, taking a look at the left side of the phone, we do have the slot for the micro SD card and SIM card. Then on the right side of the phone, we have the power button and volume button. Then up top, we have the noise canceling microphone and we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Then on the bottom, we have the speaker, microphone and USB-C port for charging and data transfer. Then on the back of the phone, we have the camera module, fingerprint sensor, and T-Mobile logo. Now this design here on the back of the phone is pretty interesting. It's a frosted material, but then we do have the T-Mobile magenta accent here on the back. So I think it looks really nice and I would definitely recommend getting some sort of clear case with this phone so that you're still able to protect the device, but at the same time, you can also see the really cool color. The feature that I wanna show you is a feature called dual messaging. So with many apps like Snapchat, for example, and Facebook, you can only sign. So the video viewing experience with the Revel 5G is definitely a good one. One of the things that I did notice, and maybe I need to make some adjustments, but I'm going off the default viewing settings here, but it does seem like the colors are very saturated, especially you can see my hand compared to how it looks through the video here. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but again, things do look sharp. You can see how crisp and clear even this phone on a screen on a phone looks. Now the speaker does sound good, but it does only come out of the bottom. Now with some devices like the Moto G Power, for example, you do also get audio that comes out of the earpiece, but that's not the case here with the Rebel 5G. But in general, I'd say this is certainly a good choice if you are someone that likes to watch a lot of video content on your mobile device, as the phone does feature a very big display and at the same time looks nice and crisp and clear. Now, one of the benefits with the mid-range processor that we do have here with the phone is that you are gonna have a good experience when browsing the web. I already did mention that, but you can see now that I'm in a website, which is Engadget by the way, scrolling is very smooth. It pretty much feels like a flagship experience here, to be honest. I don't see too much hiccups or lag or anything like that. And I believe that really has to be due to the processor and the RAM. So definitely very good optimization here with the phone which gives the user a much better experience. The photo and video quality from the T-Mobile Revel 5G has certainly been a very pleasant surprise. In general, I'm very happy with the quality. Everything just looks very clear with nice colors and really in general, I don't have any complaints, especially considering the price of the phone. Now, compared to a flagship phone or even the Pixel 4a, the camera quality is a little bit inferior, that's for sure. But again, for pretty much anyone out there, I would say that the cameras are certainly good enough. 
I know that for me personally, the cameras are good enough for me, so I think the quality will be good enough for you as well. Everything just looks super crisp, and when I took these photos, it was on a very bright and sunny day, and things still looked great. And I really do like that we're getting an ultra-wide camera here with the phone, and even the macro camera actually does deliver some pretty decent results. But let's now take a look at some video samples from the Revel 5G. What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here, coming at you with a test video using the T-Mobile Revel 5G with the main camera at 1080p. We do have nice, smooth autofocus in video mode, which is great. And here's a test video in 1080p using the ultra wide angle camera with the T-Mobile Revel 5G. And here's a 4K test video with the T-Mobile Revel 5G. And here's a test using the front-facing camera with the T-Mobile Revel 5G. So in conclusion, is the T-Mobile Revel 5G worth buying? Well, the first thing is, at $399, I think it is a good deal. You're really getting a lot here. Now, one of the limitations, of course, is that this is a carrier phone, and you are going to have to use it with T-Mobile. But if you're with T-Mobile, or if you're with Metro by T-Mobile, and you plan on staying there for a long time, then I think this phone certainly will suit you well. So at $399, it's worth it. But again, I have a feeling that most people that get this phone will probably be paying less than $399, probably be getting some decent promos and discounts on this device. And if that's the case, it really does make this phone even more appealing. So I think this phone is certainly a winner here from T-Mobile. I'm really happy about that. And whether you plan on using 5G or not, I think this phone will give you a very great experience. But this is my T-Mobile Revel 5G review. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.